To do the arc baseline, you're going to right click on your A, type what you need in here, font, height, and then you're going to choose the baseline, arc clockwise. Then you're going to hit create text. If you look at your prompt line, it says enter start point of the arc. So you're going to say, okay, I want you to start right there. Now you've got gum on your shoe. Now it says enter the end point of the arc and then press control to constrain. So if you want to make sure that it's a perfectly straight line, you can hold the control key down and it'll only go straight and 15 degree increments. Okay, but I want it perfectly straight. And what I'm setting is the diameter of the semicircle that I'm making. Okay, so I want it about there. So I'm going to click one more time. And now I have the jump rope. So I'm going to put my cursor in the middle so I can control it. And do I want it really arky? Do I want it kind of arky? Middle? This is where you choose. So if I want it right here, I click one more time. And then there is the arc. If I go into reshape, there's the arc that I just made. Now, if I need to make the arc less arky, I can grab the center point in reshape and pull it down and see how the sides are going flatter. Or I could move the center point of this and make it even flatter. I do want to show you this. If I grab this and hold the control key down, look how the letter is H over here. If I put the letter over here, look what happens. It rotates because it's based on a 90 degree of the baseline. So at that point, that's 90 degrees to the baseline. So that's the arc clockwise. The same thing happens if you do arc counterclockwise, except it just hangs. So if I go into reshape, the baseline's on top, so the letters are hanging from the baseline, not sitting on it. If they were sitting on it, they would squish together, so they're hanging on it. 